Hello everyone, I want to welcome you to Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review and I'm really excited to be here. Today by God's grace we are looking at a very interesting topic that says dangerous and benign. We are going to deep dive into some of the secrets our Father in the Lord shared with us and I really want you to be part of this. Please also go ahead and share this video so that others can benefit from what our Father in the Lord, Pastor Yeah Adeboe, is sharing with us through the open heavens today. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you because there is power in your word. I pray, Holy Spirit, that your power will rest upon this word this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. It will transform us even to become who we are, finding our true identity in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. How dangerous are you? I want to ask you again. How dangerous are you? Uh, you are going to find out very quickly. Because if a man does not know his true position, the devil will cheat that fellow. Act chapter 13, verse 1 to 11. Act 13, verse 1 to 11. Very interesting story. And I want to encourage you to read every part of it. Because it will open your eyes to some of the secrets that we are going to look at today. And in Act chapter 13, verse 11, the last verse of that same uh, text, the Bible says, And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Oh, that was an instant judgment for the man who was contending with one of the disciples of Jesus. You know, I've heard the Lord shared his whole story. He said that for a believer, who does not carry fire? The devil can push him here and there. Except for about 13 years, he could not go back to his village because he was afraid of the witch and the wizard in the village. One of the things they are known for is that if anybody comes and they see that you are progressing in life, they will lay strange hand on that person and everything will go bad. But he said, you know what? When he received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I call it the baptism of fire upon him. It became dangerous even for the camp of the enemy. He said when he, they invited him over to come to the village, he, he, he spoke with his mom and said he'll be coming and he said, ah, no, you should not come more. And I said, mommy, I'm not a different person. He said, if anyone tried to, you know, lay their hands on him, they will be roasted by fire. He said when he visited the mom, the mom looked at him and said, are they Jerry? You say you are different, but nothing has changed about you. You say, ah, hey, mommy, yeah, my physical body may not have changed, but there is something inside of me that have, has truly changed. The Bible says, if he that is inside of you is greater than he that is in the world. Believers are dangerous set of people that the devil and his team can never withstand. The only problem is that many times believers don't know their true position on how dangerous they are. Today, I want you to come into that dimension of the power of God over your life. But you know, before you start boasting of what the power of God can do, first, you need to receive the Holy Ghost. You need to be baptized by the fire of that Holy Spirit. You must get to your, your, your local areas. You must get to your community. You must get to your estate. And the devil that is operating, the angels of, uh, what's it called? The angels on assignment in that place must recognize that there's a new sheriff in town because of the power of God that has been rested upon you. You must not joke with that. You know, after the Lord cited a very important story, he said that if you look at the, you know, the bottle of a Coke, if you, you can always drink it when you handle it, drink it. In our, in the part of our country here, when you are done drinking the Coke, they use the bottle for something else. They can pour petrol inside of it. When the petrol is poured inside the same bottle of Coke, no one dares to drink it. If you drink it, then you are going to end up in the hospital. The devil knows. Immediately you are baptized with the Holy Spirit and you carry the genuine fire. The devil knows that you are not now part of those that you can toss there or toss there. And that's the true position where God wants us to be. That's why I ask you, how dangerous are you? You must become dangerous for the devil. Then how do you fire your fire if you don't study the word of God? 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Study the word to hold on to the word. Then you speak the word with boldness because there is something inside of you that is greater than that is in the world. That man commanded that 
he should be blind. One of the disciples of Jesus. And immediately. That happened. It's still happening today. Let the devil know that a new sheriff is in town. I want to pray for you. Everything that you have been afraid of. Everything that has been tormenting you. As the power of the Lord rests upon you. As the fire of God comes upon you. I pray for you. They will now be under your subjection. In the mighty name of Jesus. You must become addicted to praying in the Holy Ghost also. When you study the word. Pray in the Holy Ghost, fuel your fire, recharge your battery. Never be an ordinary Christian. Never be an ordinary believer. Let the devil know that this Jesus you are talking about is really living inside of you. And I see God coming through for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we go, you must speak in tongues at least one hour today. And make this a daily practice going forward. Don't go without going with Jesus when you go with Jesus, it makes all the difference. I want to pray for you that as you begin to put this into that, you will encounter God in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for joining us today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you.